hello Matt here if you are a long time channel watcher you know I'm in a new place and this is why today we've started to work on glass fiber let me show you where we're at this is where we're doing the glass fiber resin stuff because it's a lot warmer this is our workspace right now uh, but I can't do this in there this is dirty uh, see we already did the skin we didn't do the molds so the skin is not perfect but it fits and now I've taken this off I've cut off all of that taken off that skin that skin alone is four and a half kilos the one we made is around one and a half so that's nice and now I just need to cut a bit more so I've cut already most of this I just need to get in and I cannot get with the angle grinder I need something smaller to cut this and to cut this rivet here off once these are cut we're ready to glue this in and then I'll show you the skin we made we did that yesterday so I forgot my GoPro don't have the video of that but we will be making the skin for the second door we'll be making the mold for the roof and for the bonnet but that's probably the next video I don't know one of the next videos today we're finishing this door also this with everything right here uh, a bit less than seven kilos so with the skin we're at around eight and a half which is not that bad if I bought completely plastic doors they are around eight and a half kilos so money saved and some stuff learned let's get on with it Okie dokie, now we switch to making a mold for the bonnet. What we will be using first, PVA mold release agent. We shall cover this in this uh, a very thick layer and then we'll leave it to dry. It says 15 minutes. I don't know if it says 15 minutes. I read somewhere it's 15 minutes. Uh, it took us almost an hour because we put a very thick coat of it on. And we'll do it again because it really worked on the door. So a very thick coat of that. Let's go. All right, this is as dry as it gets which means now we're starting with serious stuff and we will start with oh yeah also it's been half an hour to 40 minutes because last time we did it it was 15 to 16 degrees now we have the heater and everything running we're at 20 plus a lot faster but now we switch to so something I haven't used yet and use this the last time so hopefully it will work two to three percent catalyst we have a bunch of catalyst here so let's mix up about I don't know how much of this did I use God damn it. I returned some we'll try with around 0.3 of a liter We are now covered in gel coat and hopefully it's good. We have the fibers on. Now we'll mix up some resin around how much do we need? Almost a liter, eh? We'll go with we'll go with 700 milliliters. And let's put it on and see what happens.
new day and as I said I don't know if I said it but yeah this was a problem it couldn't get the lip done I don't know why it was making it wasn't sticking and it was making a mess as you can see and the same thing here it is what it is we'll make a mold now regardless of that because I don't know how to fix that uh, I'll put a second layer on and after that I'm using the straps and for the third layer we'll use another whole piece and then we'll put some reinforcements I have an idea for that and well there's not much to see here just me tapping the polyester resin on so I'll tune in once everything is mostly done see you then we have what should be a reinforcement even though it's not really uh, but yeah now we need to take it off and while the doors for breeze to take off this one is a bit stuck so I mean it's cold but let's try and pull it off We have a mold and it's pretty freaking smooth so yeah there are imperfections here but whatever we'll make a bonnet out of it and then we'll think about it but for now well we have somewhere to make mold in another day mold is done it's covered with PVA releasing agent And now we're ready for, well, for a first layer of gel coat. Once we cover it with gel coat, then we're going with fibers, resin, and we'll be using these rolling fibers, not the matte type. So yeah, we're going two layers in, and then we'll try to make reinforcements right here we'll try to make reinforcements around this edge this edge and i don't know once it's done we'll see how firm it is probably i don't know like an x around here or something uh, name of the game is light as possible if it's flimsy i don't care because it's a race car uh, but yeah i'm going to cover it with uh, this stuff now and then we can go on. I'm not filming the process anymore because it's boring, it's tedious, and I get dirty hands and I've screwed up my GoPro. And I mean, do you really want to see one, two, three? I don't know who comes today, but three guys just tapping with the brushes. It's boring. I'll show you how it turns out. That's the important part. Any beers later. We are basically done. So this is the reinforcement we'll be using. This shape here makes it pretty sturdy. It doesn't want to bend. It doesn't want to flex uh, like this. Did want to flex a bit like that, especially these corners there. So we reinforced it. But yeah, this is not a good solution. I mean, this foam thingy, foam plastic thing, it's stuck on there pretty nicely. But we can't form, as you can see, it's making it's I don't know what's going on I'm not happy with that uh, but yeah I, I love that uncovered for now I'll just cover it up I'll put one more layer on it will look ugly but hopefully it will work and that's it for now I'll come back to you once we take it out of the mold and see what we made time to end this video we are home we have the doors mocked up, cut 
trim the edges, mark them up. So yeah, they're very bumpy, you know, this wasn't made from mold. So we will need to put a bunch of Bondo on it. Uh, but that's coming once we get it to the frame and everything. But hey, for now it works. And this puppy here also completely trimmed up. These are fixed in place with the bolts from the other side. So that's perfect. Uh, we need to trim around the headlights and get this to fit. That's a bunch of... Uh, this also needs to be trimmed out. And we'll try to get this fitted. I won't be using the stock grill, I'll just put mesh in. So that's it. Again, trimmed up a bit and this one is in place. You can see these, that's because, well, we didn't think it through. So the reinforcements, well, probably the mold was a bit saggy because it was supported from the middle. And the reinforcements are so actually good that uh, the bonnet is now out of shape. So this is sagging in the middle. Now I've supported with a piece of wood and I'm just putting the hammers on. It's down like that. But yeah, we'll need to make relief cuts all the way around and put one more layer of uh, fiberglass so we get it into the shape we want, into the shape we need. But hey, it's shaping up. I mean, from far, it looks like a car with single wiper and a very, very light bonnet. Two and a half kilos in the end. I'm very happy with that. It's a race car. It doesn't need frame and everything. This will work. Now I need to find the way to attach it to the car. But before that, we need to make a mold of the roof and we need to get this car for a roll cage install. So I won't have the time to put it in place. But while the car is getting the cage installed, we'll work on these doors. On those doors, we'll make the roof. And once, once the car is back, then we'll attach this, this and everything. Again, for now, this is it. Hope you enjoyed this one. As always, we didn't finish up, but we did kind of learn how to do glass fiber resin because we never did that before. Maybe on small scales, but pretty good. Uh, if you enjoyed this one, make sure to give it a like and make sure to subscribe to see how all of this turns out. And do we reach our goal of 940 kilos with the cage? Or 900 without the cage. I think we are already there. If not, we're well on the way. Uh, anyways, as always, thank you very much for watching and I really hope to see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>